New at 10 video just released showing what unfolded immediately after a Milwaukee man was shot and killed by two police officers and a federal agent. A Freedom of Information Act request allowed today's TMJ4 to obtain that dramatic body cam video showing the view of officers after the shooting of Jermaine Claybrooks. Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm had access to that video when he concluded the officers were justified in using deadly force. There is no video of the moment law enforcement officers shot and killed Jermaine Claybrooks. Those involved were operating undercover and therefore not wearing body cameras. After the gunfire, though, Milwaukee officer Dennis Tomasino arrived on scene with his body camera rolling. Officers surrounded Claybrooks' smoking car, unsure whether he was still a threat. As the drama unfolded on the street, a neighbor hid in her basement and called 911. It's the police actually. They pulled someone over and we're in the basement now. So they're in front of our house. Do you know if anyone's injured? I'm scared to go back upstairs. Meantime, back on the street, officers were unable to tell if Claybrooks was still alive. Still, their conversation reflected calm. The fact that Claybrooks continued to clutch a weapon was pointed out in Chisholm's explanation of his decision not to charge the officers involved. Now, in addition to that gun in Claybrooks' grip, a police report said 148 grams of heroin, 70 grams of marijuana, 50 grams of oxycodone, and $30,000 cash were all found in Claybrooks' car. He was the subject of a drug dealing investigation.